In this video, we'll be discussing about the evolution of gene expression, where we are going to see how gene expression has evolved through time and how positive traits are being naturally selected in course of evolution. We see the evolution of gene expression provides us some basic concepts, like it gives us phenotypic diversity or genotypic diversity, or it can be both, and it also gives us region specificity within the same species. Here mostly we'll be focusing on how evolution incorporates gene expression in same species with phenotypic or genotypic diversity. And for this concept we'll be taking Aedes aegypti as an example in order to see how gene expression has evolved. We know this Aedes aegypti is a vector of Zika virus, Dengue fever, Yellow fever and Chikungunya virus. But it must be noted that we have two important subspecies of Aedes aegypti. First one is the Aedes aegypti aegypti subspecies and second one is the Aedes aegypti formosa subspecies. The first one that is aegypti subspecies is found in human habitats and is referred as domestic type Aedes. Whereas the formosa subspecies is found in forest or wild environments so called wild or forest type Aedes. The first one that is domestic Aedes is attracted to human body and feeds on human blood. And in case of forest type or wild type Aedes, it's attracted to wild animals and prefers non-human blood. Now the question is how these different subspecies have preferences in feeding. It's all due to OR4 or GR1 also known as gastrotary receptor present in mosquito that can sense different odors from the environment. And this receptor is found in both type of Aedes. But there is a difference in coding sequences of a gene in both the subspecies that codes for OR4 protein in both types. In case of domestic type Aedes, it carries alleles for receptor with coding differences that enable it to detect sulcatone, which is a chemical that is found in human body odor and is detected by OR4 receptor of Aedes. And it has been observed that this gene that is OR4 is expressed twice than the normal expression within the domestic type Aedes. Whereas in case of horse type Aedes, the OR4 is differently coded, which is unable to detect sulcatone, thereby not attracted to humans, and it's also normally expressed. So the difference of gene expression within same species shows us the genetic variation and selection in favor of variations. To support this concept, we have the following graph on the screen. It shows us the results from an experiment in which mosquitoes could respond to odor of either a human or a guinea pig. On the upper side of the graph, we have the human relative preference, and on the lower side, we have the guinea pig relative preference. The red bars are the domestic population of Aedes. All colonies of domestic form that shown in the red bars prefer the human order, whereas the most type of wild type colonies prefer the guinea pig. As we can see, one or two colonies of wild type Aedes were attracted to humans also, but majority feeds on guinea pig. So this shows us how gene expression has evolved in same species residing in different habitats. That too with few alterations at gene level. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.